<laughs> I'm joining you live from the Route National Forest, and with me today are two scientists who appear to have made a groundbreaking discovery. Doctors Bud Sticky <laughs> and Dr. Branch Chew. Please, tell us about your research. Well, uh, young lady, uh, as you know, uh, this area and many others in the mountains have been devastated by the pine beetle. Dendroctinus ponderosae. Excuse you. <laughs> the insect's scientific name is Dendroctinus ponderosae. Boring! <laughs> listen, buddy, no one wants to listen to another one of your little scientific dork fests, okay? <laughs> You're the dork. Why don't you show the nice TV lady your replica Game of Thrones, Eddard Stark sword, ice? Well, <laughs> listen, at, mm, at least I don't have a blow up doll of Daenerys Targaryen in my closet. Ha, don't think I don't know about that one. All right, uh, doctors, woo, let's woo, focus Daenerys. on your. Woo, Daenerys! <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about that. We took candy kush buds, which are known for their pest resistance and their very pleasant high. Now, without, without any paranoia, the CNN audience might want to know about that. Yes. Of course they know there's no paranoia from candy kush. What do you think they are, a bunch of idiots? Well, have you seen them? All right, guys. Um, tell us about the Kush Buds. Exactly what did you do with the Kush Buds? Huh. Well, we simply grafted them onto young lodgepole pine saplings and... Bingo! Yes, we created a super strain of lodgepole pine that is both completely resistant to Dendroctinus ponderosae and yet eminently smokable at the same time. <laughs> Pretty boss, huh? Boss, indeed. But how does it work? Uh, well, any beetle that attacks a candy kush lodge pole simply, they just chill out. <laughs> Little suckers. Yeah, totally. They, 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 they forget to attack the, the trees or do anything else. They just chill out and die laziness, basically. They die. Little bugs, they die. So imagine our excitement when our interns tried smoking the pine needles and got really, really, really bad. Really bad. It was a scientific miracle. And uh, let's not forget about the economic impact. If millions of trees can be sold for $250 an ounce, we're going to be rich, Beyonce! And if there's ever another large forest fire, why, it could just wow. turn into the largest impromptu jam band concert the world has ever seen! Yes. Woo! Thank you again for joining us on CNN's Jam Band Cannabis News Network. I'm Katie Cronick saying good night. And remember, we report, you get high. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!